Xander's offense usually gets the headlines, but it's his defense oh. that has rounded him into a complete play. He's become such a great player on both ends of the floor, but more importantly on the defensive end. And of There's Mamu against Jefferson. And Mamu doing what he's done really over the last three weeks, and that's gives you a chance as a coach to see who you can rely on and how long guys can go. Powell gets it back. The extra pass to Mamu, and the three falls. Wow. And since the last time out for Creighton. McKnight with eight to shoot. Seven points in the first half. Here's Mamu contested three with the shot clock winding, and Zegarowski for that before the game. Powell harassed. Mamu trying to go baseline. Gets to the rim and it rattles around. It won't make a highlight. If in about four weeks we gather in Atlanta and one of these two teams is in Atlanta, would it surprise you at all? Not at all. Well, not at all. Mamu Kelashvili with the three. A little strong with the shot clock. Carry this team. Four threes for Zegarowski. He's got 18 in the ballgame. Mamu Kelashvili leaning in. And the rebound taken. Don't tell people they're saying your name wrong. Mamu Kelashvili, seven to shoot. In the lane, the little bump left it short, and Jefferson the rebound, and now a tangle on the more. Powell to work, jumps it to McKnight in the corner. Zagorowski on the run out, and McKnight inside. Mamu Kelashvili pinned by Bishop. One on the shot clock, it never. Hey. 2.55 to go. How big was that Alexander three a moment ago as Powell leans in? No, Mamu Kelashvili's tip won't go, and Powell's fouled on another. Take away that deep shot. Tyshawn Alexander did a nice job on Powell here when Creighton came into town. As Mamu Kielich Vili knocks down. And I get much at the rim with Gil Lair, so they're going to have to make those big range and deep ones. Baseline, Mamu Kielich Vili left hand. Knocks it down. This kid, this. For that loss to Providence on Saturday, snapped their five game winning streak after they had lost three in a row. Nice pass. <laughs> Strong with the basketball, skip pass Kale, extra pass Gill. Mamo Kielich really deep. Air ball, Kale with the board and a foul of the. And again, Jermaine Samuels with nine. Mamo Kielich really drives, gathers off the glass short. <laughs> and he certainly did. The great PJ Carlissimo, legendary coach here at Seton Hall. Mamo Kielich really. Let it come back, huh? Almost stripped, and he is stripped. Mamo Kielishvili leads the charge. Mamo Kielishvili down the lane, and one! Sandro, Mamo! Opening up, cross-court opportunities in the corner. They wrap it around, Mamo Kielishvili, nice bump and bang. Free throw missed, Miles Powell. Under a minute, Mamo Kielishvili attacking Woo! up and in. Full court pressure. Almost missed. 28 seconds to go. That makes it interesting if they can hit a bucket right here. Got to go to the goal. Mamo Kielich Vili. Oh, he knocked it down. Marcus Howard. Mamou Kalashvili, his mean. spot, absolutely his Air has been taken out of this building early. They are waiting for Marquette to answer this early challenge from Seton wow. Hall. Look at that. How about He's going to need some exemplary help from guys like Annam and McEwen and Bailey. Mamou can do. And the Hall looks unstoppable. Grabbing that ball with two hands, you hear so many coaches say, grab it with two, but when you got a guy like Gill, go get it and tap it back. Oh, my. 
Sandro. You need to be having. You can't. Not a debate over whether they can play at the next level. You can't tell me it's only about what these guys do in games yep. at the next level. Right. It's how they prepare. How they. Particularly on the road. Trip. Yeah, call. He can't believe. Look to me, he may have played some volleyball as a youngster. Mamu again. Boy, is he in rhythm. He will remember. Double and a steal. This will be the exclamation point. McKnight to Mamu. And that will put an end to it. To then start off quickly. Here's Andrew Mamu Kelly feeling. In the lane. Two things happened right there. Enzi lost it. Nice hands by Roden, too. Mamu again. Loose ball. Here's the roll. And they give it to Mamu. Hangs. Misses. He's up the Gill out there about eight feet away. Beautiful move and just couldn't get it up quick enough against the floor or off the floor. Mamu. No guilt. Seen Hall has to try to get consecutive buckets. Mamu. That was a brick. Yeah, it sure was. With Powell after seeing some free throws go through. Let's see what he does. Here's Javal Reynolds. Mamu. See where that ball went though. The Powell had it on the right side. Of Another one that hasn't gotten warm yet for Butler. Let's see if they drive it a little bit. Here's Mamu. Leans yep. in. There you go. Use your size. And it follows up his own miss. I would anticipate. Here's Mamu. Same matchup. Fades. Knocks it down. I like the adjustment by Kevin Will. And we'll see if the activity continues. Even with Gill on the floor, seeing if Butler can take it to the basket. Mamu. Again. Powers his way to the rim. They have to see Hall. They said a lot of perimeter screens. Here comes another one for Powell. They go to Mamu for three. So the use clock tied up at 72. McKnight will inbound. Powell, they throw it up to Mamu. Bounding percentage, Seton Hall, as big as they are, second biggest team in the country, 260 in defensive rebound. And it's Quincy McKnight connecting with Mamu. He nearly turned it over. Now here's Quincy McKnight with the shot clock at six. Sandro three. In and out. Tipped around. Fans still standing here in Providence awaiting the first Friars field goal. Mamu wide open, misses the three, out of bounds to the shots. I'll tell you what, David Duke is bothering him with his size. Sandro, corner three, good, and a big, much needed shot. Mamu, turnaround off glass, too strong in the rebound to Pipkin. Get it poked away, McKnight goes to the ground, tries to fling it up to Roden, he does. Now Roden to Powell, Mamu up ahead for the flush! Timeout, Providence! Let him go so he wouldn't foul because he cannot get his fourth foul. Powell's got that look in his eye right now, he can sense it. Over to Mamu Kelosvili, his three no, kill the rebound. Nick with Powell and Diallo yeah. right now. That was a good switch by Malik White. Tough night for Mamu. Untouched. This is the ball screen. They let the run the lob to him as well. Sandro's first shot off the mark. And Powell combined have no field goal and only one point. Alexander with a good day. that pull up. Shooting with confidence. Ball batted around out of bounds. And, and they just stretch you. Both of these clubs. Seven to shoot. Inside. Nicely done. Kalishvili from Nelson. Nice and well. And of course, Villanova, and that win sometimes you're a little bit flat, but they're settling for shots like this on a regular basis. Mamo Kalishvili with the stick back. Bagger double first time. Inside. Mamo Kalishvili. Too strong for Marcus Zigarowski. Mamo Kalishvili inside. He shot at that time for the Pirates. Power 
dribble. Sandro Mambo Pelish Vili. McKnight, the lob inside. Sandro Mambo Pelish Vili. Same thing. But at any moment, he can go off. Nice shot. And that was all Pal. They hand heads to help Pal. Felt like he had a mismatch, but Kale couldn't get it to him. I would love to see them throw the ball inside the gill. Mamu Kalashvili. <laughs> Listen, when you got Ramal, now especially at his size, he'll pick your pocket. That ball has to move for Villanova. Nothing but inside shots for Seton Hall, <laughs> and none for Villanova as of yet. As is right now. Jamar Reynolds in the game. Mamu Kalashvili has got that shot. Robinson Earl late to repeat in Hall. They like the way the face of play is going. Well, these are those starts that you, you don't want any stoppage. Mamu again. This time, the bigs back to challenge at the rim. Mamu College Billy. Uh, silly one there. Aim. That, that ball's been thrown too low. McKnight with numbers. Rejected by Samuels, Mamou Kalashvili cannot follow. Really well-coached, well-schooled basketball teams. And now the size on Miles Powell with Bay. Mamou Kalashvili can't rest. <laughs> on up a little bit and challenge him. It's a good shot. Mamou Kalashvili using the head fake and the ball fake. Good defense from Sadiq. Oh, Mamou Kalashvili rejects him. Jay Wright apoplectic on the other end. Roden too strong. Mamou can do with the follow off the window. Mamou Kalashvili. Mm. Uh, he's just in rhythm. Not much shooting on Gillespie. Reynolds to Mamou Kalashvili. And he missed it. Followed. Boy, a tough luck sequence. Finally uses the glass. How about... I, I, you just can't say enough, though, about Colin Gillespie. Mamou Kalashvili gets it done. Well, he fit. Mamou has been so productive. There's the pick and pop. Wasn't, wasn't set up for that one. Rushed it just work there to separate and create the distance from the defender to knock that shot down. Whatever you just said. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have plenty more on this one. It <laughs> Reynolds trying to work it inside out. Kale, good kick out. Mabu Kalashvili in and out. Look who's there, though. Eight feet when you're dealing with Gill. Job from Allen. Quincy McKnight lobbing up top for Mabu Kalashvili. Percent. Crowd wanted to travel, but McKnight had it charge free. Babu Kellish Billy. No, but you know what? It's just better when they know no matter what, they're going to be out there. You just can, you know, basketball's a, a, a confidence game. And you got to be able to play with confidence. And Babu Kellish. Lost it. Gives it up. Shot clock dwindling. Babu Kellish Billy. No, it can't have a good look. And then Babu Kellish Billy cleans it up. You have to join in the first half. It was a 16 to nothing run by Seton Hall to start things off. And Powell, who just missed that three, has 26. That's slowly happening. And Seton Hall and Georgetown starting to take control of this game on the offensive glass. And air ball barely grazing the rim by Mabu Kalashvili, player on the offensive end the last five or six minutes. They lost Mabu Kalashvili, but he can't make them pay. Kalashvili off the window. And they need more. When you start to, that starts to seep in. Three out of eight now as a team at the line. Ramu Kalashvili. Ooh, the iron unkind. And it's a team that is, has lost five of their last six games. Ramu Kalashvili. Beautiful baseline maneuver over Fremantle. Separated very well. 17 points each. Here's Mamou Kalashvili working on Carter. Oh, tough shot. Points, 10 of them this half. That one deflected by McKnight, and he starts a turnover. Mamou can do, and one.
to the hoop. First lead for DePaul since it was two to nothing, DePaul, at the beginning of this game. Here's Mamu for three. Too strong. And the defense from Prentice Nixon. And an air ball. Miles Kale open. Too strong at a three. Mamu Kelichvili, the offensive rebound. And Sandro puts it home. a great. Really a willing passer. And he plays almost like a point forward there. That started that ball reversal. Oh, might have thought the shot clock was down. McKnight. Wow, three Iowa State players flying into the picture, and McKnight still finishes. Kevin Willard's got to love this. And this defense fires up. This Seton Hall defense. Blocked in a late whistle. Gill was in there. And Romero Gill called for the foul. Zandro, Iowa State to be more creators off the dribble. Iowa State only four free throw attempts in that first half. Say. One of his weaknesses is that perimeter shot. I, I don't see it. I, I think he can shoot it. Mamu Kelly with an answer. You know, you just can't touch that, regardless of, of whether you think it's going in or not. You got to at least give it a chance. And a really good job by Nixon to stay in that corner, to keep his discipline, to stay spaced. Because he knows that guy, Halliburton, is going to find him. You have to have a break in between games. I'm not here in the Bahamas. Nixon out. Young is out as well. Condit is in. Under against the seven-footer. Hard cut McKnight. Three Southern Miss players were there. Mamu Kelishvili ends up with it. But he does year in and year out at Gonzaga with the turnover. Mamu Kelishvili with a three, and Seton Hall leads to loss. Like, he's been great, I think, late in games, in those types of games. He's got to find a way to make a play so his team can win. Seton Hall lead. This is the nightcap of the battle for Atlantis. Been a fantastic day of basketball. Jared Roden on the drive, and Mamu Kelishvili stuffs it home for... Mamu Kelishvili had a good first half, Sandra. Whether it's the wind knocked out of him or something else, he's certainly in pain. Off the road, miss. Mamu Kelishvili cleans it. Hall is able to break. We asked him to describe his ideal style. He said, in one word, it's pressure. On both ends. Yep. Offense deep. But they finally are able to separate for good down the stretch. Powell and Miles Kale, along with Quincy McKnight in the backcourt. Sandro Mamu Kelishvili and Romero Gill to Biggs. And it is Mamu Kelishvili missing the first shot. And couldn't get the roll. Here's Powell on the break. Nice. Good find. Mamu Kelishvili with the finish. 8-0 Oregon run. They're plus six with Pritchard in the game, minus eight with him out. Nice. Mamu Kelishvili. And here come the Ducks with two to come out from that paint to try to contest. Kale, that is a tough looking shot. And he gets the rebound. Seton Hall just trying to steal some time for Powell, you think, before the. You know, they're trying to get you to take some time. They're not trying to generate a whole lot of turnovers. So that's where, you know, you wonder how much the pressure. And change the momentum as they move forward in Atlantis. North Carolina, Michigan tomorrow, 1.30 Eastern ESPN. Wolverines winners over Iowa State. Oregon not great from the line, but Seton Hall's attempted just two free throws in the game. The lead down to seven. Kale with a step in. Mamu. Guard in AM hasn't played since November 11th. That shot missed. In there by Evans this year. And M. Doesn't convert, but what a nice play at the time of a pass. Well, the defense is really good for 
In and out. Roden with the shot. All right, and a little runner. No, boy, they can't from you here. One for the last 13 from the field. Team that has shot just under 37% coming in. 33-15. There, attack Evans to see the big man, 6'8", 300. And he'll take a leave. That is his second. And trying to 12 in Division 1A. Wasn't that long ago, they were producing a lot of big name football players that started the AF. One of the biggest in the country. They've got five players that are 6'10 or taller. You've seen how that height makes a difference. There's one of them, and it's Sandro Mom kick out. Skipped off the rim. Load in. Amukalashvili, the turnaround, cannot find the bottom box and one. And went to man. End of the shot clock. Amukalashvili, no, and now a whistle with 3.2. They are. Fred Fats locked on the Powell. The rest are going to play four and four. Amukalashvili, the turnaround from the post, and nice touch from still a very talented team for St. Louis, just very young. The best uh, in the G League with the Pelicans. Mukulashvili has that one blocked by Fred. <laughs> it's tough to say because I think after the way that Michigan State played against this Seton Hall team, now they well, were number three. They got lost. St. Louis, their first in the last seven minutes and 27 seconds. Here in the second half, the Pirates have put the clamps on. Pivot Jimerson in a horse contest, and Yuri Collins, the third freshman on the court, for St. Louis, you're seeing the future. Four box shots. And how about that? Nylon on the free throw. Who's his all time record? 135 career blocks. Oh, he needs one more. How about that? Five blocks today. Oh, we've got Casey Hankton at the tip. Buckets. Yeah, they were kind of a package deal in their commitment to St. Louis and Travis Ford. Argo leading East St. Louis in the state championship. Plays early on. They got length on them early in Henry. On the tail is Bealy bumping right at baseline. Turn. A brick rebounded. People for the first time in program history. Lost their opener to Kentucky at the guard. Nice so replace. Got it out. season. Ha. Ah. Dumps it down. Mama Taylor's dealing. Nice catch and finish. Nice look. Empty side. And able to get a touchdown there. Mama Taylor's dealing. Shows it. Jump stop. Short. Out of bounds. And this place ready to explode. They're standing up in the lower bowl. Mama Taylor's dealing. Nice job. Just a clear mind out here for him when he's playing. Inside, Mama Kadis Beaver. Good hustle. Shot Not clock good. Tom is on the Spartans. That's the championship. Mama Kadis Beaver. I love it because he can go right. right. Nelson driving. Hands it off. Mama Kadis Beaver with the finish. Oh, what a great call out of timeout. Dribble exchange. Nelson. Skipping, Mamo Kalis Beely. Oh, what a fine by now. Pirates have to remain aggressive. Mamo Kalis Beely. Nah. Rebounded by Kale. Michigan State's got to stick people on a miss. Shot clock turned off. Inside, Mamo Kalis Beely lost it. Got a foul. That size that you said he played a lot of point guard and guard can handle the ball in open traffic. Nice to have for a 6'9 guy. Mamuka Lashvili gets the <laughs> Wisely, that's why I'm here next day, by Yeah, the exactly. Way. Mamuka Lashvili puts it on the floor. Whoa, big time. And knocked away. Gill able to recover. They play him with enthusiasm, and it doesn't appear that there, like, there's any intimidation. Mamuka Lashvili again from three. Uh, he's on that 
play. And generally with the dribbler, yeah, you'll see it either an arm extension or in that case, you'll see a shoulder that bumps into the defender. Mamou knew he missed that one too, didn't he? lead of this first half for the Seawolves at four. A little homecoming. Mamou Gulashvili can't get the roll that time. If I could towards the, the cameraman behind him. McKnight trouble getting in, but there's Mamou Gulashvili with a stop. Nice decoy by Kevin Wilhall is going to be successful, but this game has really come. It's almost a half-court set. Mamou Gulashvili with a strong move. Good baseline cut just then. They crisscross it and they get a turnover and a layup. The steal and stuff ties it at 40. Mamoukalashvili answers on the other end. Sandro Mamoukalashvili having his free throw shooting is retired at 42. Free throw shooting is very important. I just figured I'd say that again for you. <laughs> Can't say it enough. Largest of the second half. Five seconds on the shot clock. They have to go quickly. Nelson kicks it out. Mamoukalashvili! Can't get it to fall. Two at the half. Opened it up a little more than midway through with a 10 to 1 run. And Mahmoud Alashvili, the exclamation point. Bill Meyer, before the game, he said, you know what? Status quo. We're going to keep it the same, keep it simple. I'm not going to add any new plays in. I'm going to let guys play. Sandro Mamas Kelasvili stuck to try to get any easy baskets. Alex Morales missed that jumper. Here's Mamu. Turns, fires with that left hand. He's got it. Able in line this season. They're trying to run the trap at Kyle's. The three by Mamu. They're going to need him 26% from there. And he can be one of their better scorers this year. Started 11 games for the Seahawks. Here comes Reynolds in the Pirates in transition. Mamu for three. Obiagu off edge of your chair right behind you just waiting for you to put him in. Good luck to Mamu. Nelson. He runs the show for Wagner. His pass stolen by Miles Powell. To Mamu. That three in and out. Recognition, unselfishness. Mamu. Here's Mamu backing down Spear. Seton Hall. That's, uh, that's amazing. It really is. As anybody who watches Big East basketball knows, he is a prolific scorer. How about that big to big hoop? Mamu to Gill. Miles Powell. Back to work. Mamu Kalashvili. And Roden with the open look and the three. Jared Roden. A lot of, a lot of times a Jared Roden might get the call against smaller lineups. You'll see him today, no doubt. And there's Romero Gill. You can make a kick. Reynolds a teardrop. Wow. I mean, anything they want, the middles. By a kind of moment here in the game with under 12 to play, he was kind of a, appealing to the heart of his team, saying that this crowd, this building, is waiting for them to show a little bit of heart. You see, Miles hit the... Good no shot, looking to get it back, back to the post. Tucker, good defense. Nice a cut. cutting joke. Jared Rowden. Uh, Tucks it home. 62-59, Powell inside. Not his day. They kick it. Reynolds gets the puck. He's on. <laughs> Tip it, and then Powell somehow comes away with it. Baseball pass up ahead for a three-on-one break and a lob to Jared Roden. And Patrick Ewing. McKnight stopping puck. No. Babu Kalish Billy on the glass. Roden somehow got that over yard seven. Back out here.
Butler work the clock, massage the clock, if you will. Here's Jones in the paint. Runner is no good. That wasn't the best of shot. Remaining in the half. Zagorowski. It's Mamu Kelashvili. Lost the dribble. Zagorowski splits. The floater won't go. Half to He's got some. <laughs> these guys have been around. They've seen it all. The pressures of everything. Tough shot. Four. Jefferson looking to attack against Mamu Kelashvili. Big boy. Oh, Two, he can elevate. Nice help. Mamu. Skip pass. Samuel. Pull up. 16 footer. And a foul. And over the other way. Gillespie. He really does a great job keeping the dribble alive. How about this? Attack.
June did pretty good. This crowd ready to explode. Now Gillespie. McNutt. Howard up below by reversal. Hello. Hell Great job. Interior pass. Let him go to work. Howard has all eight for Marquette. Look at the box out. Very few, if any, have left. They know at a certain moment, Marcus Howard's going to be taken out, and they want to give him for the game that the two hardest practices of the year were each of the last two days, and he had a good feeling about the way his team would come out and play. It's faster than I've seen them play. I think that's a great idea, great coaching by Ed Gordon. Young inside, missed it. That's a technique. And Worthy, then you're not watching college basketball this year. They've got all the pieces. Gillespie. Jacobson. It's got to be Kale now. And it's Kale for two. Dance on him, young fella. Another NCAA team. Reynolds well short. Three of Iowa's, Iowa State starters. Super there. You can't get antsy. That's a good pass, too. McKnight. With a throwdown for Mamu Kelishvili, Quincy Epps is, but I suspect we have to be close. <laughs> As I was saying. Hot, hot offense to stretch this lead, and you know, part of the problem for Iowa State is the degree of difficulty in a lot of their shots in the families this week. And as lovely as this is, there's still nothing like being with your family. So thank you to everybody on our crew who's helped make this week possible. Because the sacrifice is just as much from them. Well, thanks to you and, and thanks to them from all of us as well. And we're great. Six threes for Miles. Pritchard. Morgan. He can rise and finish as well as any I've seen. And this is with the ankles injury. Yes. He had seven on the floor now. Winston to Tillman. Pushes off. Almost blocked. Gideon. Lee coming back. Now. Splits the D to the cup. Hall with the finish. A double high. A little mismatch now. Step back, Cassius. He had a terrific debut. Down to five on the shot clock. Olani gets into the paint. O'Cherry the rebound, but he's... Morales, step back, got it! And he'll go to a sh perimeter shooting game with Wofford. I think they want to make sure they test them down low. McGee off the mark. He is three. Oh. Boom. Inside, got the round three with the easy layup. And there it is. The a quick pick and roll. No look pass. Nice look. And one. Samuel from. Boy, his look spent. Morning. This is the dunk. But it takes a lot of. Injured just keeps playing. And he plays hard as he scores. All right. I know, man. I know. Such a hater, man. <laughs> Here's Booth from Baltimore, though. Running trying to post. aronowski has been good here. Nice oh, pass. Akinjo oh. swatted. Today. <laughs> Up against the clock. Ponds with three to shoot. Yep, the freshmen from last year who are sophomores this year, he feel like they would have also made some marked improvement. Mamo Kalashvili posts up Balik and gets the easy one. Zagorowski the lead for Bishop, who uses all the... 17 from three. Jays have missed two, Pirates have missed three, Balik a deep two, and the rebound. Make that count. If nothing else, you come away with the foul. In a perfect world, the foul and the end one, but you've got to come away with something. It's a bad shot because I don't think you had the one guy anticipating that shot as a rebounder. The rest of the team didn't even know it was going up. Alexander, I like that. Creighton Whitford, Willard, Solis, 
A number of different guys have stepped up throughout the season to complement Powell's scoring. The three and creating a chance to string a couple buckets together. Not a bad shot, but I'd like to see perhaps milk that clock a little bit more, get more time out. The transfers they have for that situation. Impact transfers too. Here's Cunningham with the clock at four. And it won't fall. going without the basketball. Oh, Nelson really in McMahon's kitchen. Here comes the pop out from Akoria down to George. A little too uh, generous that time trying to assist his teammate. There's four with a strong oh. move. Watch Monday Night Football anywhere. Jack Johnson. Boy, he can get Johnson. Gets off him on the switch. Knight with the assignment. Nice. Uses his size, takes his time. Puts Chris Likes in the paint. And nice floater. Zach Johnson, my good position. Well, this guy's in a hurry. And he's like a Tasmanian devil going wow. to the basket. Look at that. And Thompson had it. Isabel playing with him. Leaves for French. Pull up jumper. Best. Great looking. Mark coming up here in the second half. Trying to turn the corner. Best shakes free. Wide. To the right, did plus five in rebounding margin. However, that was skewed. You have a guy like Angel Delgado who got you 12 boards a game. Palmer trying to drive inside against the bigger they're down, able to get his hit by Thompson and force the contact. Now Palmer matched up with the 6'6 freshman Jared Rose. There's Watson got free and the jump. And if they're playing your twos against their threes, they'll take that every single game. Jefferson off the inbound settles for the elbow jumper. Remaining in the half, Zegarowski. It's Mamu Kelashvili. Lost the dribble. Zegarowski splits. The floater won't go. Half four. Jefferson looking to attack against Mamu Kelashvili. Big ball. I never thought they'd get close to that after this game being tied at 32 at halftime. I look up and. Oh my! And over the other way, Gillespie. He really does a great job keeping the dribble alive. How about this? Attack. Bay backs it up with eight to shoot, guarded by Mamo Kilishvili, takes the jump, Short. air ball, back to Moore, almost stripped, and he is stripped, Mamo Kilishvili, here's George.
defensive efforts. Wofford does not play in a lot of close games. They average 83 points, they give up 65.6, and they get a bucket. But he's playing. McDermott. Inside to Enzi. Working on Mamu. Jump hook, missed it. Rolling the ball. 11 from the floor. Inside, Trompo can't get that one to go. And then a foul on Gil walked by us. He's a big boy. I, 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 there's very few people that make you look small. <laughs> He's one of them. That conference ahead of St. Joe's and Davidson. Up and under Gordon. Can't go. And St. Louis having troubles getting out of it. More importantly, defensively, around the rim. Young. Up and over. Leaves it short. I recognize he had a smaller player. Took his time. Went to work. Samuels caught underneath. Reverse layup. And it goes down. Theo Mathis missed it at the rim. C.J. Walker did as well. Duarte with a third chance over Maru Kelishvili. That got tipped. Creighton down five. See, Hall's gone cold for the last two tennis. Crumple going to work. This is that 60% of this for both of these offenses have to be going towards the basket and into the paint. There you go, down low. And return to the NCAA tournament for the fifth consecutive year would be a school record. Freshman C.J. Walker with a top. This defense has been terrific. In the paint. Ooh, that looked like a lot of leather to me. Wow. No way that should be. And then your defense starts to collapse and the offense becomes a little easier to score. Well, too much muscle. Mary Collins beating inside. Bell turns around on Mamukalashvili and lays to pass. He's a gamer, and they go inside. Understand where his front court mate was at. That time inside. Baseline jump shot, now that's not communication skills. Go there, deep in the post. Turns on Mamakilis Dealey and lays it in. Likes to bounce. John working on Mamu. Spin, jump hook, got the roll. Just enough. Marshall high low with Jones. Jones spin move in the paint. Off the glass, no good. Gets his own rebound. Put back. Alexander looking inside. Bishop good position against Mamu Kelashvili. Trying to move him down low. Can't move Mamu. They've maintained it here into the second 20 minutes. And one of the things about St. Louis is their three perimeter guys can handle it pretty nicely. John Hutton Hall has cut into the Wofford lead. Lob it out front. Aluna gives it up. Jackson sneaks inside. Been a good game thus far. Sighting on both ends, good runs. It's a good ball play. Jones off the mark again. Goldman has wanted the ball all night. Turn it around. Another miss. One for a little. See the weak side, Butler help defensively. Oh, they just oh good position by Enzi. Well, they just take 12 all run for the Hoyas. Kidjo inside, morning, jump hook, good. Oh, you see how lazy the defense. Caleb Joseph. They Samuels, in and out dribble. Pivots. Short. Here in regulation. Feed the post. Gordon backs his way in. And Go to him again. Where's the double team, though? They can't let him just jump over him again. There you they go, got better. Shot off, and he comes up with a loose. Pascal. Inside Samuels with space. Jump hook. No. Spear. Jump hook. A couple of nights for Seton Hall. He's playing the five right now as the Pirates go small. McKnight into Roden doing a good job face guarding Malinowski. Goldman, three 